hello everyone welcome back and today in this video i'm going to create a table here and before this we are creating our post we successfully validated our uh, user request uh, user form request and uh, uh, now the time is to implement this table uh, add this table into this index method right okay so here just make this a little bit larger and i'm going to this um, go to this home and i'm going to copy all of the stuff and go to this index i want to paste this out i'll copy this in the save so later i will use this out so here i'm going to uh, create this uh, table here so i'm going to ask the chat gpt chat gpt to create a responsive table for me right and uh, here um, create to uh, uh, create bootstrap table uh, with two columns uh, i don't want to create this uh, two columns but later i will add this out right i want to create bootstrap table with two uh, columns title and body enter and to uh, wait for a moment to generate this using chat gpt and uh, if you are new on this uh, youtube channel so i have a lot of courses on the laravel if i go ahead and open my youtube channel here so you can uh, you can learn a lot of laravel stuff from this youtube channel and i'm also hello uh, coming live on each sunday so you can connect with me so here these are multiple playlists you can uh, you uh, you can set up your environment using laragon stripe discount github ci cd actions laravel cm uh, laravel cms do app and a lot of stuff right so <clears throat> go here and it's now generating this table class table header right it's generating the correct thing right it will take a few moments because it's so uh, generating line by line okay so here let me add some title here so i want to add some title here section title and uh, this one would be posts and i want to use this title here in this so uh, replace with this title so here is the title this one is a title right so let me add a yield directive hope you are familiar with this so yield directive where you can add your add your all of the stuff from child to uh, display in the master one right so uh, here we added this so uh, for post let me go here for add this for the create post okay create uh, post and also do this for the show post show post single post right and uh, here i want to add this create post to uh, add to here right move this out save this one and now let's go here and yes it's generated the table and it's also knows that we have generated the previously we have generated the post crud and it's also generated this for each loop right i didn't enter anything i just told him that create bootstrap and it's uh, very intelligent we know that we are generating this for the post right that's awesome i'm very impressed with this tool okay <clears throat> here we have a code body code header session status okay let me remove this status from here paste it out this table save this one and uh, now before this uh, i'm going to um, i need to pass this post variable to this index method right so go here post post to uh, all right and uh, here i'm going to 
return it uh, view right what's the view name so it's uh, index right and then i'm going to use this compact method to pass this variable so you can use array method or you can use with method to pass this to the index right so now let's go here and uh, remove this create and uh, load this index method and yes it displaying the laravel title and everything working fine right it is paying that dynamic title so let me go to this index one and here i want to add some container to make uh, some space around this and so container save this one refresh and yes now it looks fine right okay so here this one is being dashboard so i want to make this posts okay also we want to display some um time created at also some actions right here i will add the buttons later and uh, td this would be the post to uh, created to at and here i'm going to call this so uh, diff for human human function which is used to uh, which is used to uh, uh, create our time in the minute or in a seconds right okay save this one and here we need some uh, uh, what's the name of this one view or we can add the i button here and we will do this later refresh and uh, yes 12 minutes ago and view right so here i'm going to ask this so chat gpt to bring a uh, cdn right uh, uh, what's the name of this one mm, uh, phone to awesome version 5 cdn okay find this font awesome 5 cdn so i want to use so uh, i icon edit icon and delete icon so that's why i need this font awesome cdn right Sure, here is the link of Monta some version 5. Okay, that's great. It's uh, generated this, right? Generating, still generating. So let's wait for a moment to complete this process. Okay, that's awesome. It's generating all of the things what we need, right? Okay, and it's still generating this. Wait for a moment post gpt cross origin and yes it's completed so now let's copy this and uh, add this uh, here as so i want to add this uh, in the master template so that's why i'm creating this style here so if you're not familiar with this section so you can check out my video where i completely explain that how to use this section and render your all of the things in the uh, in the parent one right so here yield this out styles and now our this style sheet will be added into this layouts dot app right so we added this link and here if i go here and add this so i and class fa as fa i this one is a font awesome class refresh and no it's not to it's fa uh, fa i and not displaying phone to awesome 5o cdn phone to awesome cdn right so I'm all, uh, always i'm copying it from this so uh, from this one copy this out and uh, go here it's also have the same i think both oops both are same and let's uh, uh, comment this out to uh, paste this one and refresh it and uh, let's take eye on this and still oh that's great now our icon is visible and uh, why it's not visible here in the above one let's so uh, make the differentiate so here this one is uh, a little bit change so maybe this class does not exist or maybe it's uh, generated the wrong url maybe it's, it's missed something so that's why our icon was not visible so now it's visible and i'm going to create more 
one here so this one would be the for edit so class would be fps so fa edit right and uh, <clears throat> other one would be the form because we need uh, we have uh, want to submit this on the um, submit this through post request so we need a form right so here i'm going to create a button which is uh, containing a delete stuff so class fas fa uh, trash right so save this one and give it a refresh and yes it's so uh, coming on the new line so uh, let me line them here uh, let me set this out here align um, uh, align button center okay it is um, line line button in one line okay how to align button in one line go here and do display inline block right okay also display inline block here to the parent div okay just add this out here refresh it still same nothing is affected uh, display inline here block i think i need to add this into the all of the ones right uh, copy this go here remove this from here add this so uh, here this here and here too so refresh and awesome now i'm able to add this into the one line and i'm adding this uh, uh, through inline so you can add this uh, at the top and use this idr this is idr class right so now we are specifically able to display this icon right so you can also remove its so border but i'm not to uh, let me do this out here uh, click on it here and this one would be uh display mm -hmm. okay so just search it here remove uh, button border css button outline none right so just go here add this into this style uh outline none just copy this out okay refresh and still displaying this uh, button outline so let's let me visit this out and here i'm going to okay heading zero border none right so border none will, will work i'm very sure and yes border none will work and slightly have some ground so let me remove this background here so refresh and yes now displaying like we have oh, and uh, we have a oh, uh, link right so read this out to stay on yes we already have already written this out okay so here now our posts are working fine and now we need to edit these posts right so i'm going to use this uh, form to edit this uh, same form to edit my view right so here you can use this create uh, we can use uh, create a separate to edit to here or you can use the same so let me uh, create another new one right I don't want to use new students uh, copy this all of the stuff from there and paste it out here and make this uh, edit post also do this here edit post and also send this to the post dot to update okay with the with the post id we will pass this from uh, we'll pass this from this controller okay and then this would contain the old one so here how we can get the um, title so just get this title here post title and then post to uh, post body right 
okay just go here and do uh, now let's go here go to this so uh, edit one and here i'm going to return a new view return view and do uh, this one would be for edit and pass this through compact uh, post right post okay and in the index so here i'm going to in the edit method i'm going to add a route to open this out post dot to uh, post dot edit and then let me pass this post id from here so this one is a very basic stuff that's why i'm doing this very faster and displaying an error so um, i missed this uh, oops no not this one uh, what is wrong here is route post dot edit and then this one it's correct too. okay i did this uh, syntax mistake in the post controller oh i forgot to add this semicolon here refresh it and boom it's working so click on this edit and yes now it is playing the laravel 10 part one and here when you will submit this it will uh, it will go on to this update method right so this one so uh, update post to just go to this chat gpt so chat gpt told us that how we can update to our stuff right validate to this one go to the top store and this one update right so now let's go here add this update and let me add this dynamic one request title as we are doing this in the create and guys i'm doing this very faster because i don't want to waste time on the basic things right and after this we want to redirect this right redirect this to the index one okay save this one and let's go here submit this out post method is not supported right why it's throwing this out i know that why it's throwing because here we need to tell the laravel that uh, we are submitting this to the uh, we are submitting this to the date method so just put this uh, patch or put right save this one post method is not supported for this out okay refresh it 10.1 submit okay it's updated this 10.1 and it's working fine right okay uh, now i want to show this into the new page so let's click on this so for now we uh, it's uh, not going to this one because we don't have uh, we don't have added anything here in the edge wrap right so now let's redirect this on the redirect this on the view page so i will do this in the next video and if you like this video subscribe this channel and share your feedback that how much valuable this series is i will meet you in the next one bye bye